Hi, I'm Sarathi and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the meta query tool from the support console after the support console is installed. So meta query is a tool that runs on power center repository schema and fetches the metadata information from the repository schema. For example, you would want to know what are all the sessions associated to a particular workflow, or what are the mappings in a particular session, all such metadata information has been built into a tool called meta query and the meta query sits inside the support console tool so once support console is installed i'm going to show how to configure a repository service in the meta query and how to fetch the information from the meta query so if we have to log in to the support console this is my support console url and I would log into the support console. So after logging in, you would get this initial screen. You can close the screen, and under the reports tab, there is a tab called Meta Query. You could click on the Meta Query tab. Here are certain repository services that are I already configured here. So if I have to add a new repository, I'll click on my repositories and in actions I'll say add repository so here we are not creating any new power center repository service we are just cr creating a connection in meta query to point to a particular database schema on which the power center repository service is hosted so let's say in this domain I have a repository service rep gcsl power 4 underscore 91 hf6 which is created on a database called bluebird and this is the database username and there is a password now what i would and it is created on oracle now in support console you could connect to oracle sql server or db2 that means if your repository service is installed on oracle you would connect to oracle if your repository service is installed on a sql server you will install or you will connect to the sql server if you are repository services created on a db2 database you'll connect to the db2 database for example i'll take an oracle based repository service so this is created on oracle with a connect string bluebird.world so i would first take the database username this is my username so i would give the database username here this is the database user on which the power center repository service is created now i'll give the password and if you want to save the password you can save the password so that from the next login it will not ask you for the database password if you do not want to save the password you can uncheck this option now host is the host where uh, the repository service schemas database is running for example here I have given a connect string called bluebird.world but bluebird.world is a TNS names dot or a connect string so I would see where bluebird is running so bluebird dot world sorry then bluebird dot world so it is running on a host called bluebird so I can give the name as bluebird or you can give the IP address as well so I'll give if you want to know the IP address you can say ping the host name So 10654144 is the host and the port is where the listener is running on 521 and this is the service name. So in case any additional JDBC parameters are required for you to set, you can set those JDBC parameters here. Now I can do a test connect. It is trying to test the connection. So when the connection succeeds, it says the test succeeded then I'll save the repository information if you see here the repository name is automatically picked up from the metadata and the name is the repository service with that name is created under my repositories and then you can click on OK and say connect so this is now connecting to the database schema on which the power center repository service is installed so when you want to fetch any metadata related information it is not necessary that the repository service is running because meta query directly connects to the database schema on which repository service is installed and tries to fetch 
metadata information from that I'll see so it is now categorized into multiple sessions session related information workflow mapping transformation all such information maybe I will check if I have any source file delimiter so let's say I'll go to the workflow and I'll see if I have created any workflows here it lists me all the folders inside inside this particular repository service these are the folder names let's say I'll select this folder and I'll go here and say click get details so it is firing query on the repository schema now and it gets this metadata information what is the folder and what are the workflows under it what are the session names what is the mapping name and what is the transformation what is the type of this transformation and its connection names and usernames so this is how we get information for uh, any any metadata uh, query for example I need to run workflow I need to get workflow run statistics I can get it what are the workflow log directories configured I can get it so main much of the metadata related to power center repository service can be extracted through the meta query tool after connecting in the support console so we have learned how to configure a connection to a power center repository service in the meta query inside the support console uh, uh, utility and inside support console after connecting to meta query we have seen how to fetch the information or the metadata related to power center repository service so we'd love to hear from you you can write to us on support videos at informatica.com or you could follow us on twitter account info support thank you